If you're willing to work for it, there's treasure, you know, over that rainbow or over the next horizon or whatever. When it comes to remote destinations, the more remote the destination, you know, the first thing that comes to my mind is the fishing. Right on the bow. There he is. On the shore. Right here, right here. Drop the bait. Are you double? Oh, okay. Yeah! Oh, dude, that is natural! My name is Ali Husseini. I grew up in Southern California and now operate one of the largest sport fishing websites in the Just world. Just another day at the office. My office, not yours. <laughs> I'm Rush Maltz. I got you, what you seeing? Florida Keys native and career fishing guide for the past 20 years. Fish, when I come out to California, you can let me catch all the 300 pound tuna. Our passion is our profession, and we know there's more to fishing than just the catch. There's a good mark right there, that's what I like to see. That's the one. He's not superstitious because that's bad luck. Woo. All right, get with him, come with him. We explore the people, places, and species that make up the culture of fishing. So we can set these up. I think we'll use those for heavy trollers, the 20s, it's plenty. You know, striped marlin aren't, aren't gonna run off a million miles. Program here is, we're gonna look for them on the surface, hopefully feeding on bait balls. We'll run up into them, throw a mackerel on them, and hopefully if it's, you know, groups, we can have doubles going. It'll be a lot of fun, real visual. Now, you know? is this through the gyros, or just looking for bird piles? <laughs> everything, everything. I mean, you know the drill, just life is life, right? I like to travel. I like to go to new places. I like to discover, you know, new people, new things, but I am always drawn to Baja. This time of year, man, it's, this is a magical, magical place. All the sardines and mackerel move in here into the bay and outside of the bay, and it brings those marlin in from miles and miles away. This trip in particular is gonna be the furthest southern zone I've made it to in Baja. Uh, I've been to La Bocana. I've been to the Sea of Cortez. But this is the furthest south I've been. Now, what are you thinking? We're a little bit late, so maybe do inshore today? Or? Yeah, I think we should probably stay inshore, try to get some bait and get ready for tomorrow and hit it early and go long. Growing up, you know, being a kid on the party boats, reading Western Outdoor News, there was no internet. There was no, you know, there wasn't a lot of TV shows that really showed you what Baja was about. But there was one place that you would hear about again and again, and it was Mag Bay. The thing that Mag Bay stands out for in my mind it is the fishing, of course, but two species, wahoo, and the other one, of course, which is probably more famous, is the striped marlin. Put them in. One long, one short. Yep. We can run three if you want. How far out are you, Ollie? Uh, not super long. Here, I'll go past. Mag Bay, to me, is, is like a little sleepy fishing village. It's a little town uh, on an island, surrounded by a little estuary, and there's not a whole lot going on here. About the only thing going on here is fishing. There's limited power. There's not a grocery store on the island, so it's very tranquil. What do you, like, what do you typically catch around this corner here? No. Usually, usually it'd be yellowtail. We get uh, Dorado coming here. When Chris is a unique cat. I've known him for a lot of years. I've known his dad for a lot of years. He's really got a unique story. I grew up fishing in the Bay Area, Northern California. And then my parents decided to buy a sport fishing business in La Paz, Baja California Sur. That was a major turning point in my life. Oh, this just got whacked. Might've been a rock. No, it's bit, it's bit. Oh, he just got whacked while I was reeling it in. Chris is sort of, I mean, he's like our white Mexican crossover dude. Speaks perfect English, understands the American way of doing things for lack of a better term, but he is just as Mexican as the next guy you're gonna meet on the street in Baja. Oh, 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 we're on the board. Woo! We're on the board. Look at that yellow tail. See, you thought you could only catch those in San Diego. Wow. Ali has all kinds of different contacts from coming down to Baja and living on the West Coast for so many years. Uh, Chris is no different. Chris and Ali have been buddies for a long time. Captain Chris, put you on the monsters. Chris, I thought only Ali could put me on these little guys. <laughs> Mm 
Local knowledge is brought to you by Evinrute, fastest, cleanest, smartest. The only outboard that lets you have it all. Pen, let the battle begin. Yeti, built for the wild. Seakeeper, once you feel it, you will never boat without it. The Florida Keys and Key West, come as you are. Bubba, the ultimate lifestyle. Nomad Design, crafted by experience and by bdoutdoors.com. After we get this bait, what's the plan, Chris? We're gonna head out to Thetis Bank. They've been getting a lot of the striped marlin around the bait balls, so we'll roll in and try to get a few of those, and then probably hit the bank on the tide to get some wahoo. Awesome, man, awesome. Ideally, how many pieces do we want to catch A bait? Uh, well, for today, we probably need about 30. This trip was primarily about a marlin fishery, the striped marlin, a fishery I'd always been interested in. I'd always seen incredible pictures. I'd always seen Discovery Channel moments of these striped marlin. Striped marlin are, are a unique billfish. Probably the biggest single distinguishing feature of a striped marlin is its abundance. You know, they run in packs. There's lots of them. You, you're not gonna troll at least south of the border, you know, in sort of the, the southern Baja region that we're in all day and hope for one bite. I mean, when, when they get rolling, it's basically a fish per bait, so. We want a mix, we want a mackerel and sardine, or all mackerel, or it doesn't matter. I love to chase striped marlin. I love to catch striped marlin. So one of the things we do, you'll see we're trolling those marlin lures back there right now. Uh -huh. A lot of times they'll pop up and they won't commit. And it's kind of like Guatemala, you'll see the needle coming out of the water. So we take one of our regular baits, we make what we call a drop back rig. It's just, you know, 80 pound test, must add circle hook, and we put a swivel about two feet above. And what this allows us to do, pin on a mackerel, keep him in the tank, and while he's doing spirals in there. And that's what the swivel's for, so he doesn't twist the line all up. Exactly, you don't need it on all of them, just on one of them. Right. So this will be your tank bait that's standing by, ready to go. Gotcha. Sometimes when you fish, you don't get to do things on your terms. Trolling to me, it's sort of a necessary yeah. evil. And I think Rush and I, that's another thing that we come together on. So the boys just saw a jumper off the bow. A lot of people think that you can't hook a jumper, which I'm, I'm of that train of thought, but it's one of those things fishermen will argue about forever. But when we see jumping marlin, obviously, it's a good sign you're in the zone. And these stripers are rarely alone. Usually it'll be packs of two to even 20 at times. The trolling is really a function of location. You're trying to locate that body of fish and get one up in the jigs or get one on the jig. Hook up! I don't know if it was a marlin or it was a big splash. Bait back, bait back, bait back. Rush, 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 drop that bait, drop that bait. Put it between the lures and try to get it back where you saw him. He was on the long. He was on the long, okay, drop that thing way back there. Damn, he came up and ate. What'd you say? I, don't know if it was a, I just saw the splashing. I don't know if it was a marlin or, or not. Mahi. There's a lot of splashing though. You know, the more experienced crews and the guys I like to fish with, we're looking for multiples. You know, we're gonna get one on the jig, we're gonna try and tease some more fish up in the spread and we're gonna slip a mackerel back in the prop wash and hope to hook more than one fish. That smashed it, whatever it was. Depending on the zone or the area I'm fishing is all gonna be dependent on how I set up my spread. On the bow when it came Marlin! Marlin! Hook up! Marlin. There's a ton of these fish here, which offers a lot of different ways to fish for these fish. That one came up hot. That's what you want. Dude, there's another one back there. I'm on it. You could pitch live baits to them. You could throw flies at them. You could throw lures at them. Or you could do it the old fashioned way and troll them up if you like. Chris, you gonna want me in the bow or? Oh, you're good right, you're good right where you're at. These striped marlin to me are very similar to sailfish. They pull, huh? Oh yeah. No, he pulled hard at first. He's kind of just at that. Dogging you down. Laying there sideways right now. Hopefully we get a few on bait. They really fight a lot better too. Without that big trolling lure in their face. Yeah, that kind of slows you down, doesn't it? <laughs> Look at that tail. Oh, they got a big motor for their size. Look at the pack color on those packs is not awesome. The purple. This guy is pissed. Back up on the run. Come on, homie. Woo! Oh. Boy gave me a little workout. <laughs> nice so, work, Rutch. So cool. They're so rad, I'm telling you, I'm such a marlin fan. 
an awesome fish, dude. So pretty, look at that. Perfect cool size one. for that outfit. Fun size. Piled all over that bait. I love these fish, man. They're so much fun to catch. All right, you know let this guy go? Yeah, man, I'm gonna let him go. You all got right. him? Drop the tail, I got the bill. Chris, all let's right. bump it just a little bit. Give him a little color back. Congratulations, brother. Thanks, buddy. Nice work. I didn't expect one. To, I didn't expect to catch it that early. Oh man! Well, Chris is that good. Man, thanks, Chris. These striped marlin seem to be in huge numbers around here. Watch there this. Fish under there he is on the short. Right here, right here. He's on the short. He's on one. So bad. There's a few of them back there. Drop a bait. Are you are you double? I'm hooked up. Oh, okay, okay. There's another one back there, I think. Here, oh, third, come in right here. Get him, Chris, get him. I mean, throughout the days I was here, I probably saw hundreds of fish. Any given time, it seemed like I could look down a wave and see two or three tails surfing down a wave. Marlin madness! <laughs> that escalated quickly. <laughs> it's not a mark, dude. Things can turn around pretty quick here on the Thetis Bank. <laughs> That's what you mean by a wolf pack. Indian attack. Everything goes off at once. Look at that! That's a good one. That's not a small one. He looked large. Yeah, no, that's size grande. Look at oh, him go! Oh, oh. I saw. I just looked back and saw sticks everywhere. Did you? The serious sword fight going on back there. I jumped on this reel. I didn't see it. He might have just shook it. It's gone. He might have broke us off. How you doing, Rush? I'm all right. This guy's trying to take a page out of your buddy's book. <laughs> Jeez, there was Marlin everywhere there for a second. At least we're in the game. Oh, did you go into low there, Cupcake? Wow! Low on a striped Marlin. It's right here. Come back on this side. Look at that white remora on him. Number two! Look at the shoulders compared. I know. They really get thick. They do. All right, well, let's go. go. Sounds good. You, you got plenty, plenty of kick left. Yeah, let that tell them. All right, I'm free. Sweet. Nice work. Thanks, buddy. Right here. There he is. Double. Oh, oh. oh, that one came off. Drop bait, drop bait, drop bait. Drop the bait back. Just leave the lures bait, in. Bait, 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 bait. Look at Oh, he's on it. He's on the nomad. I see him. I'm dropping this one that's back. Right, that's right. Just drop it back. He'll switch. Magdalena Bay is located on the west side, the Pacific side of the Baja California Peninsula. It's one of the largest natural bays in Mexico and in North America. Nice. You want me to pin another bait on? Mag Bay has always been one of the most popular spots in Mexico for fishing. Woo, that's a bigger one. And we have some of the best striped marlin fishing in the world. Cuidado, cuidado. Yo tengo. Thank you. Do every one of them have those white remoras on them? Not every one. This one's got two. See? Suéltalo. Gracias. We're the boat. Let's keep going. How many, how many have we had come up? About 10? Maybe Look, we got, we got whack. We got three to the boat, all right? <laughs> <laughs> You know, every fishery has kind of got its own hollowed spot, location, technique. You know, those all kind of run hand in hand. That was like a lollygag bite. There he is, oh, there, there he is, is again. he's on it, he's on it. Want me to throw the live bait? Yeah, yeah, bring the bait. Oh yeah, he's right there, he's right he's there, he's on, on the bait, he's on the bait. Got him. And when you think of Mag Bay, you think of the Thetis. It's a big bank that comes up from deep water to like 90 feet below the surface. Nice, bait fish. Good job, Rudge. Not much. He's just, he's no, just back a... there thrashing around, Chris. I cannot believe how aggressive they are. I mean, they're awesome. they hit the nomad, they hit the lure, they hit the jig, and then, well, and you gotta and remember, then feed them a bait. It's probably not just one fish. Yeah. 
This time of year, my favorite spot to fish is the Thetis Bank. It provides structure, provides bait. You almost can't say Mag Bay without saying the Thetis Bank. And there's a lot of structure here as well, but the Thetis is ground zero. Cool. Man, there's a lot of marlin out there. There is a lot. It's funny, man. You go half the day, don't see anything, and now they're like the plague. How many of your clients want to come catch marlin versus, say, bottom fish or wahoo? Not very many. Dude, a long that's a, one. That's a big one. They're getting thicker every time. That one looks like it got thicker and longer. No, he's bigger for sure. Nice fish. He looked big when he came up and ate that bait. That's a big fish. Look at the base of the tail compared to the other ones. Awesome animal, man. Look at that. He's a chunk. So cool. He's chunky. He's not a whole lot longer. Look at the bronze. All right, Rush, we're gonna let this guy go. All right, buddy. Adios, he looks healthy. amigo. Yeah, so Finally much fun. Found the lab when they're fired bait. up like that, they aren't gonna take no for an answer until you sting them. You know. Local knowledge is brought to you by CV Boats, lead the way. Costa, see what's out there. Mustad, the standard in saltwater. Aftco, any fish, any water. Sea Deck, your boat deserves Sea Deck. JL Audio, how we play. Casa Vieja Lodge. Experience five-star angling in tropical Guatemala. The Saltwater Angler, Key West. And by Taco Marine. Either side. What side do you like? This is good. The thing that really constitutes a good bill fishery, I believe, is having enough bait to feed those predators. Oh, I'm, he's on me. We're going to come right by it, aren't I? He's there right under the boat, Rush. I got it, I got it, I got it. He's, no, they came right under the boat. Ah, oh, I pulled! Mag Bay is no exception. There is tons of bait in this place. This place, everywhere you look, you see birds pounding. You see bait balls. Watch the frigate. Oh, Woo! that was dope! That. Stay on the frigates. Don't pay attention to the other birds. Only the frigates and check underneath the the lowest frigate. You know, in any surface fishery, birds play a huge part of your day. Oh, the bait ball's right here. Oh, dude, that is Nat Geo. Oh, they're on me, they're on me too. I think I'm in the bait ball. There's five of them underneath me here, Rush. Pitch up front if you want, Rush. Yeah, step up and trade me. They're right under the bow. Oh my gosh, that was so sick. Oh, that was some of the coolest stuff I've ever seen. Look at the size of that thing, Rush. That's a good one. That was so cool. So cool. All those fish around that bait ball. Rush, you want to release this guy for me? Sure. He you might, about done? He might be a little green. He looks a little oh, green. Yeah. He's totally ready. Totally ready. There oh. Go. oh, right there, jumping. That's awesome. Good job. Nice. That's my kind of release right there. <laughs> Technology has changed throughout the years so much and it's gotten so advanced, but there is no replacement for the birds. Oh, that's so sick. Look at that. Oh, right here off the side. Okay, I gotta catch this one. There is a whole art to reading birds. One of the most common things you'll have people teach you as you learn to be an offshore captain is the lower the birds are to the water, the higher the fish are in the water column. They're on me, they're on me, they're on me. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Right in the boat, right in the boat. Oh, who's so sick, watch out. Oh, I'm tight. Look at this. <laughs> uh oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Look at that, on the mad scat. He inhaled that thing, didn't he? I think it's official. They do catch everything. <laughs> Look at how many species we've caught on this lure Jeez. this year. We'll watch the sunset jump. Look at that! Dude, how's that? Going into the sun. Do you see those jumps when he's jumping right in the sun? That looks like a fishing shirt. I know. It's so sick. The thing with Baja is it's like a coin with a million sides. Be careful, buddy. Oh, yeah. Famous last words. 
Okay, I'm... Good? Good. It's really a unique place with so many different faces, facets, nooks, crannies. That's why I keep coming back. All right, let's let him go. He's ready. Let him roll. Neutral. Adios, compa. That was a different one. Nice. That was awesome, dude. That was fun. That's I mean, watching all those fish come swimming up to the boat like that, all around those bait balls, and then just pounce on that mat. You're going to remember that in 20 years. I mean, it's just, there's nothing like that. So awesome. So what a fishery. So awesome. Thanks, Chris. That was a great yeah, yeah. day, dude. Chris, dude, thank you so much. Oh, what a, God. What a way to end it up. It's awesome. Awesome.